RCO, report range go for launch. Range go for launch. 70 seconds. SSC, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus one minute and counting. LV, countdown limit conditions. T minus 60 seconds on. On. Forty-five seconds. LC seventeen B launch enabled to flight. Flight. ATC three main power disable on. On. One hundred percent. Thirty-five seconds. Hydraulics go. Thirty seconds. Got it. Twenty-two seconds. Twenty seconds. 15 seconds, 13 seconds, 11, 3, 10, 4, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off of the Delta II with Grail on a journey to the center of the moon. Chamber pressure rising in all six grounded solid motors. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both verniers. Good chamber pressure on all six groundlet motors. 20 seconds into the flight. We have 29 seconds. Mark, 29 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 35 seconds in. 38 seconds in. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure for the vehicle. Up on the 45 second mark. Mark 45 seconds in. Altitude 3.4 nautical miles. Downrange distance 13.4 nautical miles. Velocity 1742 miles per hour. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark one minute into the flight. Standing by for a solid motor burnout. About 10 seconds from now. Pressure decreasing on the solids. Standing by for burnout. And we have burnout. Standing by for SEP. And we have separation. And we have ignition on the three airlet motors. The three airlet motors have come up on chamber pressure. Chamber pressure on the airlet motors. One minute, 39 seconds into the flight. The Delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch, expelling propellant now at the rate of about 2,700 pounds per second. One minute, 50 seconds in. Altitude now 21.8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 51 nautical miles. Velocity 4,493 miles per hour. Thirty seconds now remaining on our three airlit motors. Chamber pressure is beginning to decline. We have a good engine control in the main engine, good engine control in the verniers, settling down from the initial launch transients. Standing by for burnout of the three airlit motors. And we are we have burnout, standing by for separation. And we have separation. Separation on the airlet motors. Now two minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 41.7 nautical miles. Downrange distance 130.7 nautical miles. Velocity 7,761 miles per hour. Three minutes into the flight. Smoother ride now. Main engine pitch and yaw control is good. Well within our ability to control. Vernier engine pitch and yaw control is good. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Chamber pressure holding very well in the first stage. Main engine chamber pressure right where we want it to be. Vernier engine control and chamber pressure is right where we want them to be. Coming up three minutes, 30 seconds. Mark, three minutes, 30 seconds. Now at Mach 15. Less than one minute until main engine cutoff. 
Vehicle now at uh, 59.7 nautical miles, downrange distance 240.3 nautical miles, velocity 10,000, correction, now 11,281 miles per hour. Coming up on the four-minute mark. Mark, four minutes into the flight, less than uh, 20 seconds now until main engine cutoff. Four minutes, 15 seconds in, standing by for main engine cutoff about five seconds from now. And we have Miko, standing by for vernier cutoff. And we have vernier cutoff, stand by for one, two, step. And we have one, two, step. And ignition on the second stage. Good ignition on the second stage. And we have fairing separation. Good fairing separation. Four minutes, 50 seconds in. Four minutes, 55 seconds. All looks good. Good engine control on the second stage. As we pass five minutes, five seconds. Altitude now 80 nautical miles. Downrange distance 504 nautical miles. Velocity 15,135 miles per hour. Five minutes, 15 seconds in. This uh, first burn of the second stage today uh, will last about uh, two and a half minutes. Coming up five minutes, 28 seconds in. Altitude now 84 nautical miles. Downrange distance 588 nautical miles. Velocity 15,440 miles per hour. Five minutes, 40 seconds in. Second stage chamber pressure continues to hold right where we want it to be as we're coming up on the six minute mark. Mark six minutes. Looking good. And receiver decoders are confirmed off at this time as we're approaching six minutes, 20 seconds. Mark, six minutes, 20 seconds in. Altitude now, 90 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 776 nautical miles. Velocity, 16,141 miles per hour. Just got confirmation from uh, AE that we are now on Tedris, 46 degrees. Data. Six minutes, 45 seconds in. Standing by for SECO 1, about 20 seconds from now. Pressure beginning to decline. And we have SECO. Hydraulic uh, system pressure now declining. I'm soft. Seven minutes, 35 seconds in. Altitude 92.6 nautical miles. Downrange distance 1,069 nautical miles. Velocity 16,903 miles per hour. Delta flight commentary at 8 uh, minutes 15 seconds in. The second burn of the second stage will occur about 57 minutes from now. We'll be on broadcast intermittently between this time and that, bringing you up updates as the flight progresses. And the next uh, scheduled burn, second uh, burn of the second stage, about uh, one hour, five minutes, and 49 seconds into the flight.
And we're now in a parking orbit. This is a coast phase, as we heard, that will last about 57 minutes. All of the data coming in here to NASA Hangar AE, our telemetry facility, is uh, indicating we've had a very good flight of uh, the first stage and the initial burn of the second stage. Solid rocket boosters all burn well and jettisoned on schedule and on target. To what we expected. Nine minutes, uh, 51 seconds in. Altitude now is at 93.9 nautical miles, downrange distance 1611 nautical miles, velocity 16,901 miles per hour. This is the Mission Director Center where right now we have a team that uh, is now suddenly very relaxed and uh, we'll be able to stay that way for another 55 minutes or so. Right now the uh, Grail spacecraft appears to be in a good state of health as it uh, coasts along atop the second stage in a parking orbit. Data we got back so far indicates that uh, the parking orbit is uh, almost exactly nominal or where we want it to be. And the performance data from uh, both stages uh, looks good. 12 minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. At this time, uh, we are in the process of our barbecue or roll mode, rolling at about one degree per second. We'll continue in this mode for about another 20 minutes.
This is Delta Launch Control. We're 14 and a half minutes into the flight of the Delta II with Grail. We're now in a parking orbit. And uh, while we're uh, in this coast phase, we're going to be showing you some replays from different camera angles on the ground of the uh, of the launch. Meanwhile, the team here in the Mission Director Center um, is uh, going to be taking a, taking a break since there's not much going to be going on here for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. And uh, spacecraft people have been looking at some of the, their data, but uh, every indication is from both the vehicle and Grail that we have a very good flight underway.